I think really my actual first memory of soccer was my first team that I played on. Whatever time we woke up, like just, I put my shingers on, put my cleats on, put my uniform on, I'm like, game's at one o'clock, but I'm ready. This is actually pretty accurate of what my, my room like generally looks like. And personality, I mean, I think I was much the same um, as I am now when I was younger. I think I was kind of like rambunctious and kind of like funny and yeah, kind of like just a little bit wild. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. And it's just like, whatever, like put some clothes on, you look cute anyway. So sometimes I'm in, you know, a full on fur coat. Where are you going? I'm going to the moon. How could I say no? How could I resist? I feel like this hat works because it's like so ridiculous. I still look like a 12 year old boy, but again, I'm going to Mars, I'm out of here. What do I want to be when I grow up? Probably fashion designer, yeah. That would be great. Chains, leather jacket, motorcycle, you're ready. You're ready to take on the world, yeah. Prized possessions. Yes. I like don't even really feel worthy of them, so I'm like not quite a sneakerhead, but like, yeah. <laughs> They're like six and a half. Six. Yeah, basically. I like love being a twin. Obviously I don't know anything other than being a twin. Yeah. She always has a preface with that. Yeah. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> My mom's like, I'm worried you don't have any friends. I'm like, what? No. I'm like, I do, but like not here. But it was so much fun. Like you just have like a built-in, built-in best friend play date, basically. And I keep trying to tell my sister she should move here and then she could drive me to practice every day. And she's like, yeah, no, that sounds terrible. She's serious. She wants me to live I up mean, here and drive her to and from work. I just think it'd be a nice time for us to spend some time oh, together. Oh, it's for quality time for me. Quality time, because that's what means the most to you. She's a competitor, so she definitely wants to win, for sure. Like all the sisters in the family are kind of just like dominant and intense and like funny and crazy. Oh, it's, so it's game day. I always Lovely. dress up on game day. Lovely. Yeah. The thing that I love the most about Megan is she always does the right thing. And she's made very difficult decisions that have sometimes put herself in jeopardy. I think that the kneeling had some like major ramifications um, that no one really talks about. That was also like right around the time soon I started dating, so that was like thank God for her because she was just like such a rock and just had like so much great advice and just was so steady for me. It's so funny, my mom, she like knew of her just because she's sort of household name, but then she Googled her and she's kind of like, oh, okay, well, you're a lot less impressive now. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, mom. <laughs> this is the first time where she's really the go-to person. She's the captain, she's the leader, and she has one of the strongest and loudest voices on the team. She's definitely feeling some pressure for that too, but it's all good. I mean, she loves the main stage. That's one thing about Meg. You know, she plays the best on the biggest stage. Over to the flip of Rapino in behind here. And can score and does score. It's Megan Rapino again. The old favorite. 